fishing again today with my buddy Alex. We are in the Wind River Mountains. Incredible scenery up here. We're going to be fishing this lake for a little while. I believe there are cutthroat in this lake, and there might be the occasional brook trout. Alright, I'm fishing a 13 foot level line, but it is windy, so I might be switching to a floating line, a heavier line, to help fight the wind. When we got here, the wind was blowing straight out this way which would have been perfect, but now it's shifted a little bit to go this way. Nice. Alex just hooked into a three inch behemoth. Oh, and it came off. Nice. Yeah, fish is a fish. Got it. Got one. Saw that one come up and get it. Oh, came off. That was a good sized fish. Fish on. Oh, man. So about one every 10 minutes is what I'm getting. <laughs> Fish on. Finally. I saw that one cruising. And then I jiggled the hook of, or jiggled the fly a little bit. That is a cutthroat. That is a beautiful cutthroat. See a fish. All right. Feels good to have one. Got one. That's a better fish. That's an 11 incher. Awesome. That's a beauty. I think Alex has a fish on over there. Come on. Yes. Nice. There are climbers up on the walls here. I can hear them shout off belay to each other. Got one. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This one is the biggest yet. That's a 12 incher. Let this guy go. Nice. Am I recording? Okay, yes I was, good. There it is, eight or nine incher. Yeah, that last one I caught, saw him go after the fly, then turn away. Then I cast to him again, and he went for it that second time. I freaking lost my fly as I was like wrapping it. The fly had sunk and it got hooked on a rock. 
a dumb way to lose a fly. So we were at that other lake for a couple of hours. I caught four Yellowstone cutthroat trout out of it and lost another two. Had a great time there and it wasn't too windy. It was a little bit windy, but not too windy. We're now at a different lake and it is pretty darn windy. And so it's making, uh, making seeing the fish a challenge and you know, casting of course is made a little bit more difficult, but we're gonna give it a shot and uh, see what we come up with. Oh, definitely saw one. There we go. Get in the net. That is indeed a brook trout, as expected. This lake apparently is known to have brook trout. Pretty pale brook trout. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See ya. All right, that was less than a minute of fishing. That's what we like to see. Got one. We doubled up over here, Alex and I. This popped off. Hopefully, we can land this one. Yes! Again, brook trout. This one's a little bit bigger, maybe eight or nine inches. Awesome. It's getting more and more windy. Storm coming from that area, maybe. But yeah, lake fishing is harder when you can't see the fish because of the broken surface of the lake. Got one. That is a beauty. I can see the colors from here. There's another brook trout, of course. That's a nice one. Very nice. That looks like rain. I'm good with calling it. Well, about 45 minutes is all we have to fish here. The, the weather is really moving in. It looks like rain and uh, we still need to go find a place to camp. But uh, landed three fish, including the one nice 11 or 12 incher, all brook trout. And uh, I think we're going to call it for the day as far as fishing goes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the amazing scenery we have here. And stay tuned for uh, a lot more. There's a lot of good stuff to come. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.